Welcome to hole number one of the Kohong Resort Nine Hole Cup. Playing here from the second tee, I've got a Titan ball and a big topper. I'm playing this shot with max top and one bar or about a half a bar of right spin, depending on the wind. And it could be left spin as well. It, it just depends if that wind's coming from the left or from the right. Bouncing over this bunker here is the play though. I adjust this shot 10% max distance. Just a couple of rings here with the big topper. You do want to be careful. You might play a high level Thor's hammer if you have one for this shot as well. Keep that in mind. But this is a good general way to play here with a lot of top spin. Bounce it over the bunker there. Tiny bit of curl just to keep it cool. And this one puts us in a beautiful position for a second shot. Now, second shot, we're actually playing here with that short iron. I've got the thorn and I decide to play it here with zero spin. I find that if you're landing on a hill, uphill or downhill, and then you add backspin, it can really mess with that ball guide. So I try to just keep it pure, running the pin or the tip of the ball guide directly to the pin. And I adjust it there at 10% mid distance. This one's looking good. I'm looking forward to this tournament, you guys. I hope you are too. Don't forget, don't forget to hit thumbs up on the video. I appreciate the love and the support. Let's get some booms, baby. This will be good. Hole number two. Now we're getting into these par threes and Kohong new hole positions or not. These are pretty darn tough. I end up playing this shot 2.2 bars of top spin and three bars of right spin i adjust the shot at 20 percent minimum distance and you can see how i'm setting up on this first fairway and the idea here is that i probably should actually have used a little bit of right curl otherwise i think this is going to be absolutely the way to play it if that if that headwind is more aggressive you're going to need to use a little bit more top spin and if we're playing this in tailwind then i sing is you can still play it from this position as well You'll just have to adjust the spin set accordingly. So like I said, 20% min, clean pull here. Executing a perfect ball gives us a nice look at it. So like I said, all this one needed was a little smidgen of right curl. And I think the speed here, just the way it's coming in, and we give ourselves a very good look at a hole in one. Part five, third hole, setting up here with a katana ball and an extra mile. You might need to play this one with a bigger ball if you've got a bigger win. I'm using the full spin here of my extra mile, six top, one bar of right spin. If you've got a lower level extra mile, you might want to play it a little bit to the left of my landing position and then a little bit of right curl. But to keep it clean, keep it easy, I just want to get this one nicely down the fairway here on the right side of this hole. 10% max on the adjustment. And as you can see, we're not giving it any funny business. No overpower, no curl. I don't want to mess with that bunker or put myself in a bad position in, in any way. So get this ball going. It's As you can see, it's close to the left rough. But this should leave us in a good position for our second shot. Second shot played here with your favorite wood club. Now, for you, that might be, hey, whatever it is. But for me, I want to play this sniper as much as possible. Two bars of backspin is the number that I'm actually going to go with here. You can see how I'm setting up a three there. It feels like it's going to be a bit short. And I've got the top of that yellow ring really close to the top of the rough. So I back it off a little bit. Two bars of backspin, top of the blue ring. That's going to play much nicer. Now, you're going to see here in the app, 20% is the number that I'm playing. But I do believe that's a little bit over-adjusted, even into this strong crosswind. So in that situation, I think we should have changed this one to 15% max. And we'd be looking at a very, very good chance for a, a drop. I think the par fours and par fives really are where the scoring chances are going to be the most prevalent. But whoo, not by much here. Let's go. Okay, so hole four, we're going to start off here, first of all, with a tailwind. I'm playing at the Katana, 0.5 bars of top spin, three bars of left spin. You can see how I'm bouncing on this first pad. And this one, I'm going to adjust this at 25% max. Now, you can see I'm playing this with 0.5 bars of top spin. If you have a crosswind, you want to play this with about one bar of top spin and also using that three bars of left spin. I'm going to show you this shot once again in headwind just to give you an idea of how much more difficult it is to play it that way. Uh, but as you can see, this is going to get us very, very close. Okay, so hole four, when you're looking at the headwind here, we're setting it up the same with that grizzly, but I'm giving it a full four bars of top spin three left and we're actually increasing the elevation as well and I'm, a, I'm making the adjustment here at 30 percent maximum distance and this green is really tough to work with here 
um, with this pin position closer to the left because it puts that kind of rough and bunker on the left in the way, which is obviously by design. And I mean, I think it's well done. I'm enjoying the new positions of these holes, but it takes a little bit of a rethink, a little rework here. But as you can see, get a nice pace close to the hole. It's going to be an interesting tournament. That's for sure. Hole number five. I enjoyed this par four. I'm playing it on the right hand side. You can use an extra mile, the rock quarterback whatever you like and i'm using like four and a half top three bars of right spin and i'm showing you the headwind example on purpose here because it's slightly more difficult and if you can play it in headwind it's very similar in tailwind so like i said four and a half top three right 10 percent max here on the pole you're going to see me use i'm going to push it up just a tiny little smidge in here just to make sure it's at max distance and i'm using like about a half a ball of right curl maybe three quarters um that's like the minimum you could use more depending on that wind angle so keep that in mind but ultimately here you're going to see how we're getting a nice bounce rolling it well down on this right fairway and keeping it kind of to the left side but don't get too close to the rough because there's no need to put yourself in danger second shot i'm looking at the rough bump here all the time and i play this one here with two bars of top spin one right spin i try to play it like um, a little bit back from max just because if you're too close then you need to use kind of a weird spin set and i think it rolls out very very cleanly when you use a bit of top spin here so like i said two top one right now i'm looking at the wind app here to see what i'm going to adjust but then i'm like you know what we're going to play one to one here i wasn't exactly sure and i hadn't quite dropped it yet oh i mean spoiler alert let's get some booms here come on now so yeah like i said one to one on the pole kingmaker here i think is worthy if you've got a good wind and you know that you've got a chance otherwise it's not necessary so i do play kingmaker for the next few shots it's kind of like i got lazy and didn't change the ball but if we can get those booms baby it's all worth it hole number six this part five i feel like has been the most significantly impacted by the whole location changes moving this pin a little bit more to the left of where it traditionally landed makes the second shot significantly different so you could play with that p3 ball but i'm trying to get a good look on the second shot with a rough bump so i upgrade my ball choice here to the zerk and i'm using this with an extra mile 10 percent max on the play here six bars of top spin and as you can see i'm looking for max overpower here in a crosswind you know it's going to slow down that ball quite a bit so 10 percent max on the pull i don't push up or anything like that trying to have you know it's not exactly a slow needle uh, but as as good of an opportunity as we can to keep this one in the middle of the fairway slight 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 great into the wind usually plays mostly safe uh, but this one works out absolutely just fine second shot now you can be the judge whether or not you think we need to use that ball you can use whatever ball you've got i know i've got a bit of room to work with here um, but it does depend on the wind that you have so anyway i'm aware two and a half bars of top spin here maybe two in a bit depends how you look at it and we're getting this look directly to the pin here 10 percent mid on the pulp and mid is going to be 8.6 ring adjustment now unfortunately we don't quite get the drop here so there's going to be a little bit of tweaking to be done in the final round but i think looking at it this way as long as we're not spending a whole bunch of zerks if it's only one hole or two there's not a ton of like big send it opportunities but there's going to be a few and we'll absolutely check those out when the tournament time is live i don't want to throw all the zerks away but look at that close and ready to go i'll see you on number seven Hole number seven, I think this is one of our best chances for an eagle in the tournament. Um, I'm going to play here 10% max. I'm going to use three bars of right spin and anywhere from one top to one back spin. You see, I actually go here just to kind of keep it consistent. There's no major requirement for distance here. You could certainly play a rock quarterback. This is a good spot for a nice, accurate driver. Thors, whatever you got, really, that's got a good ball guide. And just keep this one in play and try to get the nice consistency in the drive. I played that at 15% max. You'll see on the app. I don't really think that's necessary. I mean, it was just kind of a, just kind of there. 10% should be more than enough. It's just like a 0.1 difference anyway with these win values. So no big deal. We get this one beautifully down the fairway, a little close to the left side of the fairway. It gives us a nice distance to the pin. 
Second shot here, I'm playing this actually with zero spin. You'll see how we're going to go for that rough bump in headwind like this. I'd have the top of that yellow ring touching the top of the rough. But if you've got a tailwind actually or like a crosswind, it's actually, I think, better to have that yellow ring closer to the bottom of the rough. Of course, you want to test these shots out before you go like live with it. But this is kind of my thoughts on having played this shot many times over the course of my, my golf class years. 10% mid on the pull with a little bit of luck you can get this one to go i actually dropped it with a great ball earlier but i just didn't feel super good about sharing that one i think this one is kind of more what we're looking for get the hole hole number eight this is how i would play it with headwind and most crosswind angles you see i've got that kingmaker and the sniper we're playing here with two and a half bars of top spin three bars of left spin and i'm actually playing this shot you can see at 75 percent minimum distance right there so we're going to pull 8.4 rings and we're setting it up way at the top here and i find this is where i could get the most consistency in the rollout there's certainly other ways you can play this hole but i'm trying to find like consistent paths that as many people as possible can play i gave this one a tiny little bit of overpower i didn't even break the circle or anything like that just kind of down into the bottom teeth just to give it a little bit more it could have used a touch more but this is going to get us on a nice line and get us very close to the pin Hole number eight this example is with some tailwind i really want to show you these par threes because it's it's quite difficult it's taken me a good amount of time to get a reasonable amount of consistency with these shots so i give this one you can see three bars of left spin and i'm setting it up there with two bars of top spin but that just seems a really too much so we're just going to go three left no side spin as you can see i've got that tip of that ball guide running beautifully to the pin now i set this one up and we're actually playing it at the 80 percent number again minimum distance and i know it's crazy but i think these big numbers on this hole with this big steep downhill is really somewhere where we need to be anywhere from like you know 65 to 85 percent i got 75 min here i think that's really close to where we want to be this one was just a little bit off, but look at that. Looking good. See one number nine. Hole number nine, last hole of the tournament. I really love this hole. It's really nostalgic for me. Four and a half top, two left here. Setting up with a Titan and an extra mile or a Kingmaker and an extra mile. It really doesn't matter all that much. I recommended a Titan here because I, I use so many Kingmakers and I just, I don't think it's really super necessary here, even in Headwind. However, if there is a time to play it, then this is in fact the time. I pushed this one up just to make sure I'm at max, even though we basically were. I give it just a little smidge over power and just be very, very careful with using curl here. If you use left curl, there's a good chance you'll find yourself in this bunker. Great is not great, but in this case, it's just fine. Um, but you'll be obviously a little bit further and a little bit more to the right here if you do hit that great. Second shot with the sniper, we're right at max as you can see there. So I end up giving this one a little bit of topspin to get it down there. It's really going to depend on on the wind that you have you're going to use anywhere from like two three four bars of top spin as you see here all the way down to like three four bars of backspin if you get a really good tailwind situation there so keep it in mind here i had to adjust into overpower ever so slightly but try to count those rings and you can still put yourself in a very nice way to finish this tournament i'm looking forward to seeing this old classic with a little new twist good luck everybody thank you for watching